pretty cool i like that better than like the church I, theme i i feel like it's like down and dirty like a little like you know like let's get that's, like the that's bass how it goes. is just yeah, yeah. the bass is just hitting there man slapping what the is up slapping the bass are you just gonna I'm, play the intro or we, what are we I doing mean, i'm gonna play the intro i was gonna say i feel like we just kept keep getting later and later every week oh. we're trying here but you know I'm, shit I'm just happens gonna, yeah i'm just gonna game, i'm just gonna blame guy that's all i'm not gonna blame our guests at all it was really our guest, but I'm just going to blame Guy. So Always. Here we go, Defects. Take the heat. What is up, Defects? We are back on a Monday night. Kicking it. Me and Guy Forge tonight. But don't worry, we have another... I don't want to give it away, but we got another square don't coming away. up. Don't give, don't give it away. Don't yeah, give don't it give it away, guy. Don't give it away. All right. It. Cerrone, I'm working by candlelight here. All right. Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> got to conserve energy over here. All right. Um, as you saw in the promo, we got something serious to talk about. The more I read into this, the more information I get, the more nervous I get. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to get into it um let's hit our sponsors real quick because we got a lot of information to give we'll bring in the guests and then we're going to jump right into this guy forge who pays the bills around here well there's a couple people so we might as well shout them out we got express comic book pressing service guys erod 212 you know who he is 10 percent off with that defects 10 code listen the, uh, if you're not sending your books to erod at this point i don't even want to fucking talk to you anymore so I mean, you better you better get on that, man. Uh, you can reach Erod uh, at on Instagram at Erod two one two. You can obviously reach him at Express CBP. That's Charlie Bravo Peter at Yahoo dot com. CBP Comic Book Pressing guys. He submits to CGC. He submits to CBCS. Listen, he's gonna be at uh, King Con, right? Yep. And I think Jay said he might be accepting like like orders there. I don't know. We don't. I don't want to. I don't want to inundate oh. Erod just in case he's not. So we'll, we'll right. find well, that maybe, out for next maybe week. Maybe he is. We'll find it maybe out for he next is. week. So you know what? Just in case. And listen, just send your books anyway to him. Call him up. Get him somehow. You know he does the best. I'm not even talking about it anymore. Moving on to the next. Guys. A. Hey. Mutant Beaver A. Eh? Speaking of beavers, our favorite beaver out there, Mutant Beaver Comics. I said it once, I'll say it twice. Gary says it all the time. He messed up his whole computer system when he went to mutantbeaver.com. Yep. Yep. You got to go to mutantbeavercomics.com, guys. Give them that discount code, Defects10, to get 10% off. They ship where, Matty Forge? Worldwide. 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 Mutantbeavercomics.com, guys. Tell Pat and the B-Man the Defects send you. You did that pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Thanks, You're getting better and better at that. You know, I feel like Jay got his, I mean, he just probably doesn't have a job anymore at this point. I, I got to be you know honest, I mean? Gary, Gary, Gary might have the job when he, I mean, when he's on, he's doing it. So that's, that's just, that's the that, way that is true. When, yeah. From now on that is, that's but uh, yeah, Jay is away. He's, 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 get, he's probably hammered right now. I highly doubt oh, you'll see God, him in the chat. Probably. No, he's not coming into the chat. There's no way he's fully inebriated. He's on vacation, living it up. He'll be back next week, hopefully. I don't know if he's gonna have a hangover from from still still. I think he I think he comes back in like two days, but I feel like that hangover is gonna be at least three or four days long. In my last little up? Yeah, because I feel like he actually started drinking before he left. He actually <laughs> went to the bar and got picked up from the airport at the bar. He never went to sleep. And they got on the plane and then That's they just awesome. started partying. And then they're coming back. So it's like five straight days of like maybe like three or four hours of sleep and just alcohol so this sure good for him good at least someone at least someone's enjoying the week so yeah they, exactly we're here with you guys though right yes we're yes, here with yes. you guys um we do have some guests so guy 
I'm going to let you do the honors. Well, you know what? You know we have friends all across the community, this this wonderful community that we love. Um, but it's been nice to get to know um, these individuals. They are some good people. Let me tell you that. And um, yeah, I'm wearing their hat. My dog's barking. My dog never barks. What's going on? All right, it's because anyway. you just got him. You never had him before. I That's why I this uh, this little shop up here, up north, up uh, you know, the Alaskan way. And let me tell you, let me, I'm going to let them talk about it. But that picture you posted, um, I think yesterday or today, with the with the what was it, the Northern Lights over the house? Holy shit balls! Talk about an experience, guys. Just bring him in. Bring him in, Maddie. Ages it's Comics. Guys, we got it's we me. got <laughs> Amy and Lou. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. What setup. Is Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. I, know. I mean, this is this is I feel is this the first time you guys have been on with us? Mm. Sober. Uh, correct. She's been on the show before, <laughs> and then you sure. guys did, you guys helped us with that one spoof video too. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. But this so is first this is full this is a uh, yeah. this is a live show. A okay. full live like like we're going live from live from the comic shop. This is this is a this is a yeah. fun thing right here. It is. Yes. It is. This is this is our our satellite comic shop uh, nice. here at the house. Yeah, uh, yeah we're because uh, we're in a little bit of transition of switching some things around in the shop, so we had to like get some stuff uh, set up here, and then that way. Dave's around me. <clears throat> oh, nice. And so yeah, we uh, yeah, that's a you know his man cave ish that just is yeah the plan the plan shit is everywhere the the plan is going to be the uh, uh, oh yeah X wing tie fighter be, fuck that really thing. hey do you want to see what she just called the goddamn <laughs> what you call the next wing go ahead pick yeah, that thing up it. let's see it. it's so big this is the X wing. That's what she said. Oh. She's yeah. lifting it off the floor for a little bit. She calls this an X-Wing. An X-wing. What is it, a TIE Fighter? What's yeah, it's a TIE I Fighter. I said X-Wing TIE Fighter. It is the TIE Fighter. fighter. It That's is. Awesome. That is a large model. It is. I'm not going to lie. He got it when I was up at work. He just was like, you know what? Amy's not home. Let me yeah. get this enormous TIE, like, eighth scale TIE Fighter. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, no, it's got, what it's we, got the what trooper we, in it, too. Oh, and, and he, he would show you all the things. There's like a trooper in it. I was like, does oh, it make yeah. dinner? Does it vacuum? Can I yeah. explain one thing? And Matty, Matty, this is Lou does what I want to do. Right. True. I think I think that's the exact explanation <laughs> of how it is and how I stay married. <laughs> Lou does what I want to do. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> there's there's been more than once where he's come home and he's been like, look, let me explain this to you first. And I'm like, well, first of all, he's not the negotiator in this family. Okay. I am. I'm borderline rude when it comes to negotiating, um, buying a vehicle, buying something off marketplace, whatever. I'm just like, no, I'm like, we are not, I'm not going to pay all these fees and all these different things. Like, you know, and I'm just like, hmm. when we were in Bali for our honeymoon, I literally said to the guy who was trying to charge me $20 for some fucking magnets. I was like, dude, it's a coconut shell, a nail file and some nail polish. He's like, oh. That's not coconut, it's bamboo. And I was like, ooh, bamboo. <laughs> and at that point, he just walked away. He was like, fuck. He was like, I know where this I is going. I walked away from my safety. Yeah, he was like, yeah, oh, yeah. and I was just arguing with the guy. I was like, look, I can either give you what I'm going to pay you or I'll go to the vendor right next to you and he'll let me buy it from him. And there he was go. just like, that's nah, fine. Yeah. But so. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully here in the, in the near future, probably near mid month we'll start uh broadcasting from the coffee shop that's going to be inside the shop yeah oh, nice so, yeah well, so since we, you mentioned uh, the shop and since maybe, she was up since you mentioned the shop and maybe there's a few people in the chat or watching on the rewind that don't know who you guys are why don't you give us the the quick elevator pitch of ages comics of alaska yeah, we're uh, Alaska's comic book shop we're one of only three shops in the entire state uh we started uh a little over three years ago, May of twenty nineteen. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we we uh, we have we had two shops. We're getting ready to shut down one because uh, times have been a little hard with the uh, because uh, we we were one of those people that started a business just a couple of months before COVID. So yeah, we didn't super fun. That one well, super fun. Really <laughs> recommend it. But nobody really recommend that. it. But what's kept the shop going this entire time has been the YouTube community. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, I mean, every time we go to promote something, we need help or we just, you know, whether it's a comic con, we've actually hosted uh, two comic cons since uh, yeah. since we've opened the shop. 
uh, we launched our, uh, uh, I think we've launched a total of three variant covers, mm -hmm. retailer exclusives, all through our YouTube fam, through you guys, TiVo, Three Men in the Basement, you know, Spine Ticks. So, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, um, so. you know, we we really pride <clears throat> ourselves on on having a good selection of books and a community that everyone feels that they can come hang out in. Uh, you know, not going to lie, this last year, even on top of all the COVID stuff, Mother Nature, like, I need someone to go to Mother Nature with, like, a doll so she can show us where someone hurt her. Because the weather has <laughs> just been so. I, was, I thought you were going to go with like a pound of weed. Like oh, well, nature, there's that too. It is know? Alaska, so there is <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> um, no, but I just want to be like, show me where someone hurt you, so that I can like fix this for you, or like sure. give her a bottle of wine and a puppy or something. Because we had back to back to back weather storms over the holidays. Our local library, the roof just collapsed on it. Yeah. Like Oops, what for, for 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 the people that are not in alaska like what yeah, is weather because you know yeah. we're in the northeast <clears throat> right i know that's no comparison so when you say a weather like what kind so of temperature we, and amount of snowfall are we talking about so the back-to-back -back weather was um we had uh over four and a half to five feet of snow drop in about a day day or two <laughs> it was about two days and then and but what wait the there's more <laughs> And then we had a windstorm come through with 100 mile an hour winds. So come all the on. snow that had just fallen yeah. blew. There's someone somewhere in our neighborhood that has probably got 3,000 feet of snow because I went from having four and a half feet of snow and I was having to dig a tunnel for my dog to go to the bathroom oh my God. To, we posted that. to grass. I have grass now. And okay. then it turned around and it went and got like 20 below for a week. So everyone had like pipes freezing and bursting because the roofs were all messed up from the windstorm and the heavy snow. And so it just, just was, yeah, just a trifecta. Stay, do you just stay in bed at that yeah. point? Yeah. Yeah. There, you don't do a lot outside. Drink. A little drink. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You stay warm. Stay in Whiskey bed? helps, you know, yes. and we well, don't. We had to get a loader, right? A, yeah. A loader to I, come I and do our driveway. I legitimately had to get a loader to clear our driveway because we had a almost five foot tall snow drift so, that a plow truck or a snow blower would be like, <laughs> yo, okay. So I don't even want to talk about that. We're supposed to get snow tonight because you guys are <laughs> laughing at us probably. I know, we got, we have five well, inches. Like all of then, a sudden, then, hold on, my, like my, a, kids, oh. my kids' school called this afternoon and they go, just want to let you guys know and, and we're being proactive. There's a two hour delay tomorrow. Like, like it didn't even snow yet. Yeah, they just they just thought about it. We've but see, like, you know Alaska, what? We're just gonna have a two hour delay tomorrow. Alaska yeah. weather's a lot like an abusive relationship where you go through that cycle of violence where it's like, oh, she punched me in the face, and then she goes and does something cool like last night, where that's literally a picture of our home with the northern lights above it, and we're that's supposed amazing. to have another KP five, which is like the highest scale for northern lights to be showing. There's supposed to be another really intense northern light show tonight. So then she goes and does something really cool like that. So like you forget that she punched you in the face. You forget about that black eye. And you're like, okay, all right, you know what? She's pretty cool. Like, she's not that bad. <laughs> and she does stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh it's definitely Well, the the the, the thing now that everyone's worried about is um well, obviously there was the roof collapses and stuff, but so when you have high winds blowing all that snow around, uh, I'm sure you guys have the same designs. I, I mean, I grew up in New York, but some of the older New England style houses, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys also have the vents in your uh, under your roofs. Is that correct? Like yes. to like a crawl space or attic yeah. or whatever. Well, so imagine the wind blowing that snow into that. Yeah. And yeah. now all of a sudden that stuff's starting to melt. Yeah. Right. So now guys are starting to get Perfect. leaks in their houses and yeah. stuff too. So yeah. So it, it, the, but yeah. But uh, I mean, it's still, all that aside. All that so aside. So yeah, Alaska, yeah. cool place to visit, huh? Yes. Super yeah, great I'm place to visit. Ask Otto. <laughs> Ask Otto. Otto had a blast when they came up. It's unusual, well, though. It's unusual for this to happen. Yeah. This, well, I mean, Otto, speaking of six inches. I mean, I'm six six I was going to say it, but I was like, I was told it was a family well, show. No, I was going to say, you know, you know you're in the minors when six inches is, is enough to close it down. So, I, I mean, mean that's, that's all hey, I'm going to say. It's, it's all okay. about what you do with those six inches. Sure. Uh, uh, that's nice. what, 
I, well, no, you know I'm what? Not gonna, I'm not going to say If you don't plow the anyway, roads, if you don't anyway, plow the roads, look then at it makes faith. Mad. Look at Lou's faith. Here's a segue because I'm glad people are on the same page as me. This A Supreme loves. He said, will Pete Schwetty be a guest of the coffee shop show? Because that's exactly what I said. I go, I asked Amy about her sweaty balls. Yeah, so, he did. He did. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Well, the big thing now is everyone's going to wonder when all this stuff melts. Like, where's it going like to go? We, we don't got, have a drainage system up how here. How big is that snow pile in front of our house just, right now? It'll just like six flow feet, into the tundra, feet? right? That's like, why you guys are a tundra. Ten. Yeah. Ugh. We're in the yeah. tundra. You know, we're, tundra. we're doing our thing. We're, yeah. You know, it's it, it's definitely not for the faint of heart, but, you know, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll tell you this. It doesn't stop you come, from coming live on a Monday night with us. It Damn does right. not. It does not. Polar bears be damned. We're here. Cheers to you. Cocaine bears, too. Cocaine so, yeah, bears yeah, we gotta go too. See oh that. God! We gotta go see that. That movie's gonna be. Crazy. It looks so horrible. It looks good. That's it's the so problem. Good. So, so bad good. it's good. Exactly. So, bad it's good. so um, <laughs> we did. I mean, we did mention Aegis last week, and we'll talk about this a little later. But that's you know we're trying to we're trying to keep the shop open. So we'll get. Yeah. We, if you were here last week, we talked about the T-shirts. We talked about the print. We talked about our friends Lou and Amy, and here they are. They're gonna help us out with the show, and then we're gonna talk about some stuff later on. But let's God. get into. What was on Oof. the thumbnail? Oof. This was some crazy shit. Some of you probably heard about this. Maybe some of you haven't. I kind of heard about it, you know, four or five days ago, and I didn't give it too much thought. And then I started really looking into it and reading it. And I'm like, okay, this is something that has to be brought to everyone's attention because this mm -hmm. is this is a scary situation across the board. I don't care who you are. Okay. So I think the best thing is for me to read this post. Um, there was a post on Facebook, the man behind the comics, uh, definitely seems like he's been in the, in, in the hobby and business for a, a significant amount of time. He has several shops. It just seems like he has a, a large following. He's been around the block. All right. It, it's, it's, it's kind of easy to tell if you look at his page and the way he talks about things, you know, he's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. is, so essentially, so the, the top level is that. He got scammed. Somebody sold him some books in CGC cases, high dollar books, like very high dollar books. Yeah. And later found out that not only were the books fake, but the label, the label, the CGC labels were also faked. And it fooled almost everybody that saw it. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly read this. I don't wanna get I don't wanna just sit here and read, but I think it's it's helpful. So Okay, it seems that there are some professional scammers out there in the Pacific Northwest trying to pass off fake comic books as the real deal. Unfortunately, I was a victim. I bought these two books for cash from a fellow. They are both counterfeit. I, I could have just said nothing and saved face, but I would rather put the word out and save someone else from the scam. When I looked at these books, they were very well done. The Hulk number one has a serial number which matches CGC archives. The case was completely solid and intact with no cracks or anything, uh, or anything to indicate that it had been opened. As a matter of fact, it was almost fooled. It almost fooled the third, the third person company I sent it into to be verified. However, they had a photograph of the original comic with the serial number that, and they didn't quite match. The pictures didn't quite match. So they did a little bit more looking since it was such an expensive book. I finally had them go ahead and crack open the case, and it turns out that there's not even a whole comic in this case, nor any kind of comic book at all. Simply copy paper. As for the Captain America number one coverless, it looks like an original. However, it's not quite the right size for a Golden Age book. When closely inspected, the, po the paper quality wasn't right and the printing method wasn't too modern. Um, well, it was too modern. Look like, look like my friend Craig said, it was a nice touch throwing in the writing and the dirt. So I'll show you some pictures in a minute. The person I purchased these from told me his name was Ryan L. Um, and that he got them from an estate auction, wherever, wherever. And after with the local dealers, he was someone else are likely to have been trying to sell other counterfeit books around the Spokane area recently. When I purchased these, Ryan even told me that he had sold an amazing Spider-Man number one slab, as well as several other amazing Spider-Mans in Spokane. I have made the police report, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have also alerted CGC to this counterfeit. Please be wary in my honest opinion, don't hesitate to crack open the slabs. I've been doing comics for 40 years and this one fooled me. I almost fooled a group of, it almost fooled a professional group of graders and, and their entire staff. This is one of the best counterfeits they had ever seen. 
Wow. So there's he posts about three or three more times. They're a little bit shorter wow. than that. But I want to start showing the books. So here is the Hulk number one. And I want to, you know what? Let me just make it full screen. So this is the Hulk number one in and out of the case. It was a 6.5. And so I did, again, I, I read up on this. There's a, CG, there's a CGC forum post about it. So essentially, the book is just photocopied. I mean, they what they did was is they took a real CGC slab, carefully um, cracked it open to a point where they could reuse it. How they did that, maybe they used the heat gun. I, I don't really know. Um, they created uh, basically their own facsimile edition of Hulk 1 on photo, on photo paper, the cover, the interior, um, and they even created that CGC label. And what they did was they took an existing 6.5 Hulk CGC uh, certification number and used that as, as this the counterfeits number. So when you go and look it up, it's going to show a CGC 6.5 off white to white plages, et cetera, et cetera, of Incredible Hulk number one. He they even created some of the defects that were in the graders' notes. So certain spine damage, they 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 even went as far as to put the micro chamber paper back into the counterfeit. You know, that wow. that preserving paper that they use for mm -hmm. Silver Age, you know, books. So um I think he goes on to say in another post that. He, the counterfeiter slid open the interior uh, bag, that that's compression bag that they kind of have the, the comic, the, the inner well uh, right. uh, case, slit that open very carefully, slid the comic out, slid this one in. And this thing fooled every, he basically, he sent it to Lone Star Comics in Texas, which is my comic shop.com. And they were checking it over. And it wasn't until they actually saw a picture of what the, for some reason, they had a picture of this, certification number for this the real book and they noticed a little bit of a discrepancy so they took it out and once they took it out they started noticing some things that maybe you wouldn't have noticed otherwise unless you were really looking so i mean this is the interior of the book you know i mean the cover you could see he's got marks going down the spine they roughed it up you know mm -hmm. um now here is a side by side of a hulk number six in pretty good condition and this counterfeit. Now you can see that the paper on the back, it has a little bit of a pinkish hue to it. But again, when you look at it by itself, you, you can't really tell. You know what I mean? You really have to see it side by side with something. Um, sorry, I went too far ahead. Here's the Hulk 6 that's real next to the Hulk 1 fake. I mean, and I'm just looking at him now, like maybe the paper is a little glossy. Lou, Amy, what do you what do you guys think? It's a little tiny bit glossy, more than it should be. Yeah, but uh, uh, that's gonna fool people. It almost <laughs> looks like it's so that's gonna fool people. Bigger. No, they they these guys are next level, and and I'm worried because Emerald Emerald Con is coming right up here. What in a couple of days? Exactly. These guys are gonna be at Emerald Con, oh, guaranteed. Yeah. Or, and it's or, such or, a crazy thing that people are going to not have the time to check that over. Do you guys think it's one guy or do you think it's a group of people doing it? So he he goes on to find other people that got hit by the same guy, essentially. And mm -hmm. I think it's it's a Hulk one. It's a coverless. Jesus. So let me go to the next picture. I mean, a coverless interior of Captain America one, which is right here. Like that, I don't know how much it is, but it's thousands right? Like yeah. thousands. That Hulk number one is probably in the $30,000 range. Like yeah. he went so far as to put the, you see the little bit of pen writing up on top. That yeah. top. I mean, that's like stuff that you would see in a silver, a golden age book, the little bit of dirt they, they mm -hmm. rubbed on there. I mean, I'm going to go back one. The only reason they figured out that this was fake is because they took a measurement of a real. So he's got a, on the left is an actual page of, of Captain America one slab. So, you know, people, slab a single page of captain america one they have the interior the enti entire interior so i'm sure that's worth thousands right so you can see it's about 10 inches and here's, on the right it doesn't really come out right it's about nine and a quarter so they noticed that crazy. The, the, the counterfeit golden age book was a little bit smaller than the true golden age I, this is this is out this is great i mean it fooled a lot of people this ghost ride this uh spotlight five actually had the interior of a spotlight 10 in it so i'm not sure if the cover was real 
you know, a lot, you know, sometimes in, in mm -hmm. you know, Silver Age, the early bronze, they ripped off these covers. They had the guts of a, a Spotlight 10 in this one, and they passed it as a CGC 8.5. Somebody bought it. Um, let me see. Yeah. Go ahead, It Amy. sounds to me like these guys, it sounds to me like these guys started practicing this probably during COVID. I ain't got nothing and, else to and do. perfected yeah. it. Well, the scary this, isn't thing is, this isn't something that they and it's started someone doing. who knows the industry well I enough. Mean, exactly. You know, they yep. know the industry very well. Now, yep. our 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 resident graphic designer, Guy Forge. I mean, how long do you think it would take you to perfect that CGC label? Uh, I, it wouldn't take long at all. Right, it wouldn't take long at all. So, this is not. This is. I I feel you know, and we're gonna. This is where the conversation is going. I want to go more, more into this, but. I don't want to, I'm going to ask the rhetorical question now and then we'll get into that, but it's like, what, because clearly something has to, CGC has to do something mm -hmm. because if this can happen, I mean, the amount of books that this guy sold, I, I think just a rough estimate would probably be in the $150,000 range out of just the ones yeah. that have been reported so far. So here's, um, here's a, here's a question before you move on for a second. Yeah. Like there has to be some sort of backtracking like when they grade these books they don't take pictures of them and have them in like a file well you know i think you know cgc you can pay for high res images i've never done that but mm -hmm. especially in some of the older books that should be across the board if they want to protect their investment and, like and, and, they want to protect i know like the like the, the 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 what's the word i'm looking for but like protect the integrity of the of the grading no but it's not like CG, it's not like, even if CGC takes those pictures, it's not like me, you, Amy, or Lou can go look up and find those pictures. We can go right. look at the graders' no. notes. But even then, I mean, especially be, in the past, why wouldn't the they be readily, notes weren't great. Why not make them right. readily available? The, oh, the pictures? Yeah. I, I don't, you know what? That, that would have been a good question for Gary. He may have known the answer to that. If they take pictures, I'm sure of the higher value books they do. And it may just be for internal control, but I, mm -hmm. I don't know. It may it may be something they need to do. I thought that's like, an option that you can pay. Yeah, that's extra what I was saying. To get yeah, the pictures, but saying. otherwise you're not getting. Yeah, you're not getting. I don't know if pictures. they do it for themselves. Right. Yeah. They keep it internally or not. But like I said, Lone Star happened to have maybe they auctioned this book at some point, mm -hmm. and they do take pic. They do have the pictures on their website, so they had a picture of this book, and they realized that was the only reali reason they realized it was fake. Wow. Was it a four point five? Never known. Was What's it that? a four point? Was it a four point five? It was a six five, which I know last Jesus. year was selling in the thirty five thousand dollar range. No, I'm assuming uh, it's probably around thirty. Yeah, it's six point five. I know somebody that bought a six five for thirty five thousand, and that was a good. It, that was a lower price than what it was selling for. Oh, maybe we're looking at a different book than they. No, are. Captain America one. Or we, no, incredible. Oh, Hulk Oh Incredible. yeah, I was gonna say Captain America one was oh, a four that's, five, right? That's a couple that's hundred bonkers. thousand. <laughs> yeah, that was one hundred and ninety four. So yeah. my first, I'm not shitting on the dude, but I know even as a as a shop owner, when I buy collections, <clears throat> I could fall into a trap like that because you you're not always looking at well, this deal might be too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Because if the guy sells you on, they're falling on hard times, or they really need you know, mm -hmm. or or they say, hey, I'll sell you this along with all these other books right. so that people walk away not feeling like they got cheated. I wonder, you know, is this something where he paid 10 grand for the book or is it something where he paid 50 bucks for the book and thought that he was getting the screaming deal? Did, did so, he ever reveal what he paid? He didn't, but I mean, I was looking. So, uh, Guy, I mean, highlight anything that people are saying in the comments, we'll address it. Yep. Um, yep. He didn't make that really available. He showed some images of emails that they had going back and forth. It didn't seem like it was like, hey, I'm falling on hard times. It just sounded like it was, I have some bigger books. I'll, I'll do right by you. And I'm going to read a little bit more. But he goes on to say what this guy is actually doing is mixing in lower value books, whether it yep. be 100 or $200 books that are real. Yep. In these oh. deals. Yeah, I was reading that. And that, that was what got me was because you're looking yeah. at all of these other things and they're raw. They're not slab. They're raw, exactly. They're raw. Exactly. So it's giving you that feel of, well, if he's got these raw books right here, why would you even assume that the slabs are not so real? So this isn't 
this, this is, is a very professional. This is calculated. This is some Ocean's right. Eleven shit in the comic book world. Like that. <laughs> so, that is so what this is. Here's the question too: Have you guys have you guys personally ever run into anything like this? No, well, it's hard to say because uh, uh, it was restored uh, well, stuff. It here, yeah, maybe it's restored. That you- Maybe that you mainly, didn't know. <laughs> well, yeah, may, maybe we didn't know. Mainly the thing that we have the most is like Methany and Nathaniel trying to come in with like some box of comics they found in like their grandparents' basement yeah. or something. Uh, uh, air quotes. They stole them shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. they stole them shits and they're trying to sell them. <clears throat> or the one guy who told us that the only thing he got out of his divorce was uh, that death of Superman or whatever it was. No, and- but, you know, I am worried that uh, we do have several customers that make purchases like these they on a regular make large basis. Purchases, yeah. And uh, a lot of them got into the hobby, into the high end portion of the hobby, which yeah. is what this would be only sure. recently in the last couple of years. And they, there's a good chance that uh, after this, this information just got out what mm-hmm. today, it's been, uh, it's, it's been building. Yes, I think the 17th was the, was the yeah. post, but it really started gaining traction about five days ago. I have so, a feeling some more victims are going to come out here soon. And and just help me explain it more. So what the dude did is he cut open the bottom of the CGC so slab. I, I think I have a picture, and it, I don't know if it's going to come out right. Yeah, there was a Hulk one. There was a Spider-Man. We'll go back to these, but there was a GSX Damn. one. But right there, it's, it's kind of out of focus. Uh-huh. But what they did was, I guess they were able to kind of shimmy it open to a point where it just, they were able to not break it. And they somehow they expanded, but I think it's they use maybe a heat gun to kind of seal it oh, back up. Okay. And the only thing that the guy goes on to say it somewhere in the comments, I think it's not even in the post, is that once he started looking, is that the corners on the bottom were flared out a little bit once he mm-hmm. really, really started inspecting it. So they figured out a way. I know some of the older CGC cases, they really did kind of open up easily on the side. But, yeah. But, but that inner that inner sleeve, he just kind of used a razor. Slipped it open, slipped the comic out, put it back in, maybe used heat to seal it right back up, put it, shoved everything back in, got the label in there, got the top label in there. I mean, the staple placement was perfect. I mean, honestly, you got the first thing I thought about to myself was, was Guy. I literally said to myself, if Guy wanted to do this, he, would, he could stop, stop putting me out there, man. No, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, it's, it's something that Guy. To the- West Coast about, recently? A, about a week <clears throat> could probably come up with a perfect way of doing this. Okay? I laughed at the, I laughed at this because I was gonna I was gonna tell you to send me something and then in ten minutes while you guys are talking right. I was gonna I was gonna recreate it and send it back to you. But like, and, and, uh, but like that's the point. Like like this guys, this is very I'm gonna be honest. I've been I've been on Photoshop and programs like this since I was a kid. You're talking about 30 years. Like, mm-hmm. so like this is not hard to do for me. Like, right. I'm, once, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that this is not hard for them to do. And that's the scary part. Yeah, right. Once you find the right paper, once you find the, the staple placement, the things you can't reproduce, obviously, are a real label and the smell, right? The smell is something you can't reproduce and you probably right. can't reproduce the exact paper that was being used. You maybe can come close, right? And the printing method is always going to be a little different. If you have somebody that's really knows what they're looking for with with printed inks versus the, the ink that we use now, you're going to know right away. But nine t- 99% of us that are in comics don't have that knowledge to be able to right. do that. Um, the label was what was interesting to be able to slip. The case is definitely the hardest part. Right. It was was Drag. reusing <laughs> that CGC case, which I think that's that's the scary part. Well, and yeah, I think, it looks I like think he's John also- Malo actually brought up a really good question in there about the, um, and Lou's looking at one of our CGC slabs right now, the hologram label, like the hologram sticker that they put on some. You know, right. the- um, and, and let's see if these are older. I don't know if the older. So ones if they're older, because that, that would be the question is, oh, yeah. are they picking book? Are they picking books? Uh, no, I just. Yeah. Is that one of the he scam books? Them. Yeah, that's a scam. So wow. He may have, he may have wow. taken Tell another me. book. And, you can't tell me he doesn't I, have a hookup me, somewhere. You can't tell me you can't. No, no, listen to me. You can't tell me you can't break another slab, yep. heat it up, and take that sticker out of it and oh, reuse yeah. it in that slab. Little, uh, Come on, uh, you got to think. What are they yeah. You got to think. Knife? You got to think. Ocean eleven. Ocean's eleven. Ocean's 11. Yeah. 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 The funny thing here is, you know, everyone, and I'm not, I'm not promoting or dissing or anything with any one company over another, 
But, um, you know, everyone was real angry at uh, Tony with EGS for putting stickers on the outside of his labels, the, the seal thing. And I was like, I wonder if that would have prevented it. Well, it's funny because I was having this conversation with Gary today and we were kind of spitballing. And, you know, and, and I want to talk about that at the end, but just quickly on the stickers. I feel like the stickers is a slippery slope because right. that's something that could easily get damaged. And then as soon as that's damaged, automatically that book is now counterfeit. No yeah. one's going to touch right. it. So right. that's... That's, it's a 50 50 you know, yeah you know, there's pros and cons we'll talk about that at the end we'll come up we'll brainstorm we'll figure out how to fix this all right that's yeah. what we're going to do at the end but let, me the read, let me read part two it's a little shorter um so the same guy man behind the comics uh more counterfeit books discovered by local dealers after my post yesterday a couple of dealers got in touch with me they had bought comics from the same guy and were unaware they were scammed the scammer is selling all right uh he mixes in low dollar real books to make sure everything looks authentic he's been trying to to get local auction houses to sell these books for him. That would be a huge problem. Ooh, Another wow. dealer in Spokane bought a batch from him. Uh, many of them were real, uh, but the high dollar keys were fake. After hearing my story, he cracked open a beautiful looking Hulk 181, which let's see, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. Seven five, so that's a high dollar, what is that? 5,000 probably right now. Mm -hmm. Just like my Hulk fake one, these cases look solid until he cracked them and the serial number matched the CGC archive. The other dealer said he had this to say, the, the only question I had was on the GSX-1. Something looked a little off, but I thought it was because of how high the grade was. Once I cracked it open, he could see that it was a facsimile. So some of these, once he cracked them, they were kind of able to tell. So like on the GSX-1, I mean, it, you can't really tell from here, but when I looked at this picture in person, once somebody said to me, that's fake, you could spot it right away. Like this one wasn't as good as the Hulk. Like this one definitely looks like a copy. Yeah. But if somebody hadn't told me that, mm -hmm. I would have probably said the same thing. Like, wow, that looks a little odd, but it's a high grade. So maybe that's why, you know, we're not yeah. used to seeing 80 GSX ones. So um, what else did he say? Uh, since I have realized that this guy had been deliberately trying to kill. Uh, yeah, he went to the cops. Okay. Um, part three was he found another guy with. No, we went too far. King Kong, everybody. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Spider-Man SM number one, a 6-0. And yeah. the guy bought, we, he sold the coverless. He also sold the cover of Captain America number one. So um, he says, we have a completely fake Amazing Spider-Man number one, CGC 6-0, as well as a cover to Captain America number one, also completely counterfeit. I think this cover goes to the comic that I purchased. They were both too small to be golden age books. The guy purchased these, met with the scammer, Ryan in Mizzaloo. Uh, be very careful when purchasing either slab books or golden age books that are raw. These rumors have been trying to, there are rumors that he's been trying to pass off ungraded golden age action comics as far back as a year ago. Um, and then the last part of this, I think was posted today, oh no, five days ago. Um, I received my counterfeit book back from the fine uh, folks at Lone Star Comics. They were the professionals that were able to identify these as counterfeits. Um, blah, blah, blah. There's, he said there's actually printed material on the inside. It wasn't just copy. He thought it was blank, but it was actual. It was an actual comic. Stapled together and everything, everything looked just like a comic. Uh, let's see. He did more pictures. Um, they, put, they even put the conservation paper back in between the cover and the pages to match up the serial numbers with the real Hulk. That was a 6.5. Um, let's compare. Let's see. Uh, this I smell nothing from the fake. The authentic book has an old paper smell. Not moldy, but like when you walk into an old com, uh, when you walk into an old bookstore. Exactly the same size. I can cover the number one up with the number six. Lined up the staples. The staples are the exact same size. Um, comparing the paper, it does feel a little bit denser and stiffer than the older one did. Um, let's see. The paper color is different when he's, he's matching up the, the number one to the number six, the Hulks. Uh, is he aging up the, or, or is he doing something to the staples too? Yes. Cause you know how staples, you can... he's rusting out a little bit. He's, wow. he's, he's really taking the time to, to go through this. So. Wow. Well, this is, a, this is an old scam, though. I mean, uh, people have been doing this with, like, fake Mona Lisas and, sure. 
Sure, but, but now this is the first time that they're doing it with comic books. Everything looks to legit. To this degree, yeah. The labels look legit. Now, when you start looking at it closer, I, I took a little time and looked at If you look at a real one to the fake one, the 8.5, right? That actually might have been real. But like here, this 7.5, the number looks a little off. So if you put it next to another 7.5, the spacing is slightly different. But unless you have them next to each other, you're not going to know. The other thing I noticed... It says Incredible Hulk 181, and underneath it says Marvel Comics in the date. If you look up the real, like a real one, and you do the spacing, where does Marvel fall under Incredible Hulk? It was off by like a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less, maybe an eighth of an inch. Oh. But again, your your eye is not going to notice that unless no. you have right. another one right, right next, next to it, to it. and yeah. you're looking for that specific space but here here's the thing with that too to counteract that even though you're saying this is what i saw and this is what i i see the difference of here aren't aren't there printing errors that we know about too that like that well i'm saying on that, the label i'm sorry i meant on the label oh, oh, so okay. on the cgc label where it says incredible hulk number one so i can't do it got on it one, got but, it no i see yeah. on top of and then underneath that it says marvel comics and the date that spacing was a tiny bit off from a real Hulk 181 7.5 or just any real CGC. Yeah. Well, look at look at CGC that like writes the most random stuff sometimes on the labels too. Right, right. Like they write what's not supposed to be there or they write something that's not they that, put the that books was in supposed backwards, to be there. Do you know what I'm saying? Down. Like there, there are there are things that like they could just be off in the, the way they the way they printed their label too. I mean, yeah. that has that has happened, I'm sure. So, I mean, wow. those I, <laughs> It's scary because it makes you really think. Like, I honestly thought to myself, like, wow, like, I had to second guess myself. Like, are my high dollar books real? Like, now, like, how do you know? Right. You know what I mean? Obviously, you can start looking at the little Sell them all. But, Sell them all. <laughs> you know, it's like, how do you really know? And, you know, obviously, we're not going to sit here and say, like, oh, check your high dollar books. But, like, clearly, this has happened. Right. There's somebody that's going to watch this video that maybe has a fake comic in their collection that they don't know about. And they maybe right. never will. You know what I yeah. mean? Because if this can be done by one guy in a, in, a, in a span of like two or three weeks and in the same area, you know, and if this guy paid in cash and he didn't use his real cell phone, you know what I mean? And, and he created an email address from a coffee shop and never emailed from his house. He's gone. He's a ghost. Yeah. You know, See, and that's something he kills somebody. He he stole yeah. some comics. They're not going to mm -hmm. put a million dollars worth of resources looking for this guy. No, those are the easy things. They can't do it. He's gone, and he's going to do it again somewhere I feel, else. I feel, I feel like challenge challenging myself to do something like this, <laughs> just, just to see, see if you can do it. Yeah, see how real I can make it. Like you know, yeah. what I'm saying like I'm not not selling it. Let's not don't get carried away, just guys. For, not, for no. just for research purposes, yeah. for purposes of research, for science. To see, yeah, for science. <laughs> Well, I, I'm concerned, uh, uh, you know, even for prosecution, holding the guy accountable from law enforcement background, it meets the criteria for a felony all day long. But uh, the problem is now you got to convince you got to convince people that uh, 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 it's actually the value that it is. That's mm -hmm. when you have to bring in, you know, uh, the guy, Jamie Newbald, uh, who owns SoCal Comics. Uh, the reason he got that nickname, forensic uh, comicologist, because he he actually was certified in the San Diego courthouse as a, a an expert on the value of books, because he he had to testify on stolen collections before. But my I guess what I'm babbling about is my point being, depending on what jurisdiction you're in, some departments aren't going to give a shit. They're going to be like, we have no idea. They're going to be like, right. uh, stop playing with comic books, because they're not going to view it the way the collectors yeah. view it. But I mean, no, I'm, books, and I'm worried that the guy might get away with some stuff in certain places. Well, not only that, but what if the guy says, well, I didn't know they were fake. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's really easy to be like, I bought it from someone else. Yeah. Right. So, I mean. Well, it'd be just, bigger investigation. Well, yeah. and if, but here's the thing. If the guy wasn't guilty, he'd be showing up real quick going, hang on. Let me tell you who I bought these from and let's figure this out because I also got cheated. Yeah. But also I've seen a couple of comments from people in the thread and on the live tonight and stuff like that. A lot of your high dollar collectors and retailers and those people, they're not going to want to admit that they got got. Yeah. Yes, you and know? Remember, not, that was the first thing this you're guy not said. You're wrong there. I you thought about just saving you know? face. Yeah, this, this they're like, says, I've been doing I... this for 30 years. Like, I really yeah. didn't want to tell people that I got got. 
But yeah. He got got. His guys got got. Lone Star only didn't. By the grace of God, Star, had a picture. They had yeah. a picture. Or else they said they wouldn't have noticed it. So do we think this that Heritage scary. Auction, you think this has already happened to Heritage, the big guys? <sighs> I mean, I feel like it's definitely possible, right? Like, who are they? Are they going to sit there and scan the book? Now, if you were talking about a dollar value book that was hundreds of thousands, that thing is going to go over with a fine tooth comb. But a 6'5 Hulk, like, it's a... Granted, it's a thirty thousand dollar book, but like Heritage Auction, they sell thirty thousand dollar books every week, right? Yeah. So, right, it, it may not something. Be they gotta something have that, people. They gotta have people that look into that, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, guy. But, uh, but, this but, guy but, said he wouldn't have been able to know unless he cracked it open, and he and clearly did. And that's the didn't. problem. That's yeah. the problem is that uh, uh, we we rely on companies like CGC, CBCS, even e e EGS, and e e e all jokes aside, even PGX. Because they're a third party that's supposed to do the checking on our behalf. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why you, when you're doing high-end books, typically you do want a graded book. That right. way you're not arguing about condition or validity because you're hoping that this professional third party is doing all that footwork for you. But if those guys are either being counterfeited, compromised, or shit, they're the ones compromised in terms of uh, either their materials are being stolen, it's an insider guy that's right. giving cases Good to somebody, point. you know, I mean, yeah, because clearly, it, so Tony was able to purchase and get, uh, he was able to get the new cases, yeah, get them manufactured. Wow. I mean, if it's a, if it's it a high a mold end, that he had to get, yeah, he had and... to get a mold, he can explain, he's explained it, he's open about it, you know, that, sure. that's why it costs so much money, I think it cost him like 10 grand, if you're in a scam like this, a ten thousand dollar investment on what could be uh, billions of dollars in scams, that's nothing. nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think and, and honestly, they covered almost every base because he didn't go too high with the grades to to really raise a red flag. Like if he had right. come out with like a nine eight Hulk one eighty one, you're gonna start questioning it because it's not right. you know, see if he came out with an eight oh Hulk one, again, you're gonna question that because you go over six five in a Hulk one. That's an incredibly rare book. You know, right. if he came out with Captain America one complete, come on, that would have been. You know, that's why he right. sold the cover separate and the interior separate. He was very, very he comes very in depth. This is somebody that's with that. He retires from. Oh, he retires one time. Yeah. that's it. This is but the this, guy this that's guy. one hundred percent in the hobby. Has great knowledge of it, sure. and not only that, has a. Like you just said, he, what? I'm thinking like this villain story where the guy's like, uh, he was yeah. like a comic book shop that got fucked over. And, yeah. and he was like, fuck <laughs> y'all. It was his origin story. And now he just Lo screwed up. Yeah. Lou's, Lou's, Lou's calling Netflix next week. He's going to yeah. be like, he's like, I got a great idea. Like, this story. Movie yeah. of the week. Uh, hey, one, one many, I want to see what this guy's background is and why. One too and why. many people canceled their pull box and yeah, it just sent him just, over the edge. Well, Chinmo, Chinmo mentioned, which was really funny because I watched it the other night. I was flicking through. And all of a sudden, Catch Me If You Can was on, which is one of yeah. my favorite. I mean, yeah. one of my movie. favorite movies. Yeah, very good. And it was right at the part where he's taking the, the planes with, with his Pan tweezer. Am. He's taking the yeah. Pan Am stuff and making the checks. And I'm going, I'm going. This is perfect. I go. This is exactly what I can picture this guy doing the CGC case and taking the sticker off and putting it on and blah blah. Like, it's a it's an intricate thing, and it does happen. Like that's why it's crazy. But let let, let let's. Let's be realistic. He didn't test out his first fake one on one of the bigger no. He's houses. Not no, yeah, he's been doing this a hot minute. Yeah, he was scamming guys that we put. That, there may be some people in the chat that have a fake book right now, like you said. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, run of the mill, it's a like some random chance. book, fifty dollar book, you know, that yeah. you wouldn't because he needed to know if he could pass it off. That's crazy. You know, and then yeah. as he I got mean, better no and better, this guy gave, higher higher. His name. there's no way this guy gave his real name. And I think no. that really established his Which name is Ryan, something, it just, you know, yeah. and I don't know. I mean, again, the guy that, that put this information out there, I do believe he has a shop. I know one of the things that Lou and I do, especially if someone that has come in that is looking slightly suspicious, uh, we're like, yeah, we're going to need a copy of your ID mm -hmm. and, you know, shit like that, which obviously we're, we're a, a business. So I don't know how you would be able to do that as a, like a private no, we, party sale. We, but yeah. That's the thing. Cause uh, that you asked us about from the shop 
every collection that comes in the shop, I always get their ID mm -hmm. and I always make okay. a photocopy of their ID. Sure. And I've actually kicked guys out of the shop that won't give it to us. That won't give us an ID. Yep. Yeah. To, to reference what that get, collection. They got to give up the ID. And we tell yeah, them all the time, we don't know if you didn't steal this or not, and we need right. to know. I was going to say, that, that's yeah. what they do a lot in pawn shops. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good if practice. I, yeah. If I walked in with a with a collection and I gave you my ID and it said Enrico Palazzo, what would you do? <laughs> Well, first of all, we all know I'm a basic white bitch from Alaska, so I'd be like, how do you spell that? I'm going to pronounce yeah. it wrong. Enrico Palazzo. I mean, Enrico it's a well-known, you know, come on. We'll have, to, we'll have to review the tape. Yeah. We, and we, that's other thing we too, also uh, have uh, tape. It, well, that's what helps Security us, too, system. is that when you walk into our shop, I purposely put the TV screen that has the video footage right behind the register. Yes, Perfect. Nice. You're so that the crackheads and stuff yeah. look right there and they see that they're, they're like, on camera. Oh, you're on. Yeah. You know? And you'll but, see the guys that'll try to like turn, you know, and, and try to be away from it and everything. And it's like, nah, get out. I cringe when I see shops that don't have that stuff. I'm like, Jesus, just, just buy a ring camera. Anything will help. Yeah. Actually, so, ring does a really good job. They do. They do. So I see the chat really going. And, and you know, there has been this push to go back to just raw book collecting. And I see the chat saying that. Yeah. So I do think that. You know, is it CGC's duty to do something? And you can make an argument either way. But if I'm CGC, the business, I'm starting to say to myself, we have to do something because people are going to, and Lou alluded to that before, people are going to start losing trust in that blue label because mm -hmm. that was supposed to be your security blanket, right? Yep. That was supposed yeah. to be your almost, I don't want to say guarantee, but that was supposed to be that safety net that you saw that, you know what's in there. If somebody's already done the work for you, you don't have to worry about it. You already know what you're paying because there's a price on that book. You know the grade. It's if you lose that, what's the per like? Some people just right. like having the slabs, yeah. but you're starting to lose the value of what people are paying, paying a top dollar, waiting a year for their books. I mean, it's right. <laughs> or so more. They have. I feel like this is not something that they are not. If you talk to one of them internally, they have com they have definitely heard about this and they're definitely talking about it. Is something going to be done tomorrow? I doubt it. And they but, need to do something. I mean, and it's not like yo, that gonna... would be that would it's something. Uh, uh, who was that squared? Uh, who's the last comment? Yeah, squared uh, there's, circle, something yeah. Be, there's something to be said about that because a lot of the grading was being done from home. These guys were yes. from home. Well, that was a complete shit show, right? And oh, then you, got all these uh, you should see what that went... yes did to us. Fuck, I yeah. mean. Bro, they were holding on to books for over a year, and all of a sudden they were able two to, years. But they were able to grade books and like. A, a, yeah, but a then day. they kept doing all these signings and house signings and getting these books out uh, like, in, in like twenty four hours and all this other bullshit. But they admitted that they were letting their graders take the books yeah, home. Yeah, that was a bad grade book. from they home. Never told. They should have never told people that. <laughs> and then they had several collections because they moved warehouses. This was CBCS again, where they just couldn't find them books that were sent in there were um yeah that's crazy was somebody from the community right that, yeah that it was clan mcdonald books someone's clan books McDonald's. Just... They, they submitted like hundreds of books and a lot of higher dollar books because he gets a lot of submissions at cons yeah, and that stuff was crazy. and they lost thousands upon thousands of, i mean they found quote unquote most of them but it was like how do you well you, you have you, a, you have a lot of com you know everybody starts paying if if people lose faith in the grading company, right. you got people, you know, spine works, you've got rocket comics, right? All these guys that mm -hmm. that's their business right. is a uh, uh, pressing and cleaning books to get them to the grading companies. If nobody trusts the grading companies. Well, and I think BX boxer brought up a good point. Cause he said, um, you know, they can't be certified. You, they, up until this point, it, everyone has felt very comfortable saying it was a, you know, certified guarantee, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But they are going, that has now been disproven. It's just like everyone thought driving in a car was safe without a seatbelt until they figured out it wasn't. So now we've come up with, okay, your your system is broken. So now you've got to find a way to reinvent the same wheel you've been doing, but to make it to where people can trust again that there's no way to see if this was tampered with. There's got to be some kind of thing that they can put in between like a tamper like you know the, the say, strip yeah. in a in a hundred dollar bill or whatever you know like something like that which again i'm sure they'll figure out how to fuck with those too but there's got to be something you know like where if you messed with it like a little bit of ink like 
it wouldn't go on the I was going to say, like, like a, some, some type of tamper prevention. Like, if it's, yeah. if the seal is broken, something happens, right? Like yeah. the money bags something at the noticeable. bank? Yeah, yeah. that's we what I was thinking. But I was like, I didn't want anything right. to get on the yeah. book. But, like, if it, there was, like, a, but if there was, like, an insert or something an where it was completely yes. contained and, like, oh, this had air hit it or something, it, it immediately changes color or something. Now, obviously, I'm acting like, all that is very doable and i have no freaking clue how to do any of that they would, my pass, they would pass the cost on to the oh, consumer. Yeah. what happened yeah. to you oh. it looked like you blew a smurf yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> it was like mm, those smurfs were delicious but you know <laughs> Jesus Christ. you know Man. but you know what they have to, i think the easiest thing for them to do right off the bat is i think like you said the hundred dollar bill the label has to have the label has to be something not reproducible yeah because right. If you reproduce the book, it's going to be hard to match up the book with the actual label. This guy did both. He did the label and the book. That's a lot easier to do. Forget about the the the, the taking the case apart, clearly the hardest part. But if you can figure <laughs> that out, if you reproduce the label and the book, you're golden. If you only are reproducing the book and not the label, that makes it 10 times harder because now you have to match exact and it's, it's going to be mm -hmm. nearly impossible. Um, Gonna, There's no I'm point because yeah. why would you take out it just it wouldn't you would have to have that book in your possession. So you'd have to have an Incredible Hulk one six five in your possession, which granted is still a possibility. But that that lowers the amount of the, the possibility of that happening by exponentially. Right. Because right. There's only right. So you can many find anything there. online. Right. You know, so if you can if you make that label where it's you can't print it, you can't print it on a, on a regular piece of paper. It, it's a special reel that they get, a special paper that, that's made just for that, or or like on your license, right? In New York, we have the little... Hol Forget about the sticker. The sticker is easier to reproduce, like I said. Guy can create that or take an X-Acto knife, put it on a... New that has to be built into the paper. Like that mm -hmm. has to be... Like that is the minimal step for them even, at this point. Even, I, hate to, I hate to say it. Even something built in to the slab, like that you can't reproduce the slab itself. And yeah. something that I don't changes think he the reproduced it. I think he actually no, 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 figured no, no. out a way I'm to just crack saying, it and reuse it. Yeah, I'm sure. It. I'm yeah. sure that. But let, let's let's take a fact and understanding that there are this this may just bring this to light and bring it to the front of our conversations at this point. I guarantee you, this has been going on for a long time, and oh, we yep. just didn't yeah. know about it. Okay, hundred percent. There's no way that this has not happened, and people aren't sitting out there with fake comics. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Probably years of this ha this has been happening, and 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 we're mute to the point because it's never been brought forward. Or not never, but like, it's you know it, it's not been brought to the conversation that this could be a possibility. Mm -hmm. This has probably been happening for years. This guy obviously has somewhat perfected it because it didn't get get past everybody. But you know, like this this is crazy. or he he got yeah, sloppy. But, but here's the thing, though. That they had to crack the slab to verify. To know, mm -hmm. he had to. And they had to crack it to know. They they couldn't. They couldn't say for sure. That's. And that's, it's almost that's like scary. that's going to flip. That's going to flip this entire industry on its head. If that's going to be the new practice now, when you go to buy that Captain America, I'm cracking the slab. You know yeah. You're cracking the slab. Yeah. Well, you know what's like, crazy. You're going to have to crack the slab. That would be the only way. Yeah, and then you're you, risking oh, that. Three and a half, that three point five going down to a no three point oh when all you did well, was yeah. Well, there's another way too, I guess. If provided that we're trusting them, the only other way would be if they maybe if they they agreed to do like a reduced fee, not like a full grading fee, but sure. if CGC allowed you to send the slab uh, to them to verify it personally. Yeah, hold on. Let's, 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 let's talk about it. that. Let's talk about that because I know guys who probably can crack it better than them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? With the verification, what does that buy you? Like, in in this scenario, it's not it buys you a help dog them. ear. It doesn't yeah. buy you a dog ear like that you didn't have before. Yeah, like, yeah doggy you know bag right now. We've seen yeah. we've seen that. The guy's gone. The guy's in, in the wind. Yeah. You know? So oh. that doesn't he's, help. He's it, probably partying up in Punta Cana or wherever. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. Jay. Maybe yeah. The Jay. Shit. So you talk. So Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I here. I gotta, I gotta take a break for one second and just thank, thank former Trout for always, always uh, hooking us up over here. Because obviously the one solution here is to start defects grading company. Pictures of Eva on every slab. I mean, I mean listen, it's not the worst not idea wrong. in the world. I would buy it. It's not the worst, worst idea. I gotta He's be honest. Not 
wrong. Matt, I mean, there's wanna, enough of wanna... us here. We could start a crime wave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Change <laughs> <Jesus>. that movie. <laughs> I mean, I know the, I know our fans. A couple of them know. We have a couple. They'll, movie they'll know that. They'll know yeah. that movie. Um, and and by the way, uh, BX Boxer put up. Maybe we can smash that like button because we got how oh, many yeah, people in here? We yeah, got uh, one hundred fifty something people in here. Yeah. Amy, you ever see this lady before? Oh, Isn't that your cousin? No, Could I was going to say that it looks like one of my one best time. friends I just hung out with this last weekend. Oh, think, Jesus. Don't say her I'm name. not saying her name, but I'm just. <laughs> tell, her we, yeah. tell her she helps us out every week. So, uh, Yeah, you're welcome. Tell her we need a new video. We'll, yeah. We'll pay oh, she's like, she's one of the hot tub hotties. So, uh, yeah. We pay in fake oh, uh, uh, Hulk 1 6.5s. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God. Oh, it's just, it's incredible. That's really scary because I. Uh, Especially if it's on this coast, there's a good chance that a couple of Alaskans have already been. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, like you said, 100%. you got Emerald Con. I mean, this is not going away. Like no. this is something we're gonna check back in on probably week after week because this is a big deal. Like this, when I first saw it, I kind of I don't want to say I poo pooed it, but I kind of just didn't pay attention to it. And then once I really looked at, it, I was like, this is a this is a fucking problem. Yeah. Like this is a real fucking problem. I feel like this is gonna be like that um that pharmaceutical. Uh, fallout where they were like all of a sudden like six months from now we're gonna really find out like all the books that were really you know counterfeit and you know like how the pharmaceutical companies yeah. are like hey we told you to take this drug sorry kind of like fucked a bunch of you know about yeah yeah i know no i feel like that was in recent i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you this i i can almost guarantee that along the lines of what you're saying I think more books are going to come out of the woodwork yep. mm -hmm. because I, because I think that people are just going to be like, well, what if that one guy oh, that yeah. goes, man, I, I got looking. a hell of a deal on this people one gonna, book. People are going to start looking a little closer at their collections. I guarantee yep. it. Well, the and first they're going to be like, well, maybe. And then all of a sudden they're going to be like checking it out, checking this out, checking that out. And all of a sudden you're going to hear more story. I guarantee. Cause you know what? The more we talk about it, the more mm -hmm. it gets out there. And that's what's going to happen. I well, wonder you know, if our insurance would cover that. Interesting. If, 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 if I'm going to call up the insurance, someone just ask me hey, if somebody steals from us, right? Because that's it. By it's essentially us theft by deception. Yeah, so, so it's theft by deception. Will they cover us for that? Because I wonder if that's another reason why uh, 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 Lone Star Comics made the report was because you have to make a police report. For your yeah. for to mm -hmm. validate your insurance, your insurance claim. claim so yeah. especially something that amount i wonder but that's going to be crazy that means uh well sometimes well sometimes some people you know like if you're a property owner like you know you guys own your house or uh, uh you have renter's insurance i wonder if your renter's insurance or your or your uh, property insurance will cover a loss like that in the event that you, you're robbed like that I don't a, know. Yeah, I mean it's a theft. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know because well, these are big knowing dollars. insurance. Guys, knowing these insurance are big companies. dollars. The whole reason that the NYPD started that cell phone task force, they have an entire task force for cell phones because cell phones, like the minimum value of a cell phone right now is like a thousand dollars, right? Mm. Raw value. So, I mean, are they going to have with books of this price range? Right. That's far exceeds any right. Any cell yeah. phone or some of these books are worth more than homes. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know that's a that is awesome. I mean, it, it, you, uh, uh, Captain America, that Captain <laughs> America <laughs> one could buy you two vehicles. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, the books we showed, I think, are clearly are easily over hundred grand. Right. Those yeah. seven books, I like. That's, that's two. Easily that's two. Over that's grand. that's two cars stolen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Am I, I mean, exaggerating? I think that yeah, that's too yeah, hard. Yeah, it's the stolen. same. But again, it's getting the the insurance companies to understand that, and how so it's easier for them to see. Oh, well, the, a vehicle. A lot of them don't understand the value of a comic, which is why you're constantly having to argue it. Which is why, like the guys at Spineworks had to like Ooh. go and prove to get their you know insurance rating. I uh, know this. What's that bonus round? Sorry, that is interesting. interesting. 
CGC. Dave Cerrone yeah. says, bonus round. CGC does not retire serial numbers. When you crack a slab and press and resubmit, that old serial number is now fair game for forgers. So you're telling oh, me. Unless you send it. So hold on. Unless so hold you on. send it to them. If you do it yourself, they, they, they have no reason to know that unless you tell them. So if, you retire if you, them if you send it to them. So if you crack it and send it to them, yep. that gets a new serial number. Yep. They'll, and that old no serial idea. number is still out there. Unless you tell which you can. I, I do believe there's a place on the CGC submission form, even if you're not sending it in slabbed, to say, here was the old serial number, and then they do retire it. But if you just crack it yourself and just throw the label out, that's it. Yeah, they'd, the, they'd have no idea. They would never yeah, know. Wilbert, Wilbert says it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So somebody saying uh, about, you know, Thunderhouse was saying something about, you know, I wouldn't doubt that dealers have been selling these. And you think about it, it's like if a dealer buys. Them. You're right. If a deal, well, either unbeknownst or what if the dealer's like, I'm out X amount of dollars. Like, yeah, I got fucked. So somebody else is getting fucked. Like there's scummy people out there. There there's are people that'll do. There's people that would do that. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. and, and, and it's not, you know, and it's not even to get ahead. It's just not to fall behind. Right. Right. Like maybe they're not like maybe they, they're so I'm not saying like somebody that does this is just automatically a bad person. Like clearly it's a bad thing, but maybe that's like literally their mortgage or literally their kids, you know, to right. you know what I mean? Like you, whatever, now that person is, is putting yeah. a very difficult predicament yeah it's mm -hmm. no matter how you Do slice I, it it's not it's not an easy thing so this may be happening i mean honestly i'm just sitting here thinking like if you really wanted to do this what you do is if you're selling a collection and again i go back to gary because he buys these collections all the time of slabs he bought like six or seven long boxes of slabs like if you mix in a couple you know four or five thousand dollar books in a mm -hmm. collection of four like three hundred dollar slabs how close are you going to really look at those? And that's the thing is when you're you not. have a collection come in, <laughs> you're trying to flip through every single book. And when you have multiple long boxes, short boxes, this, that, and the other, you're trying to flip through as many books as you can. Because I mean, usually like for us with our shop, someone comes into the shop or we go meet them at their place, you know, and like it always happens that when we have to go to their place, it's a house that's got like 15 cats and lose allergic and they know it. So they all try to swarm them. And um, like every time. And so, you know, you're trying to, but it's just impossible to to flip through every page of every book. Yeah. When That's you're going through some of those bigger, I, I, which is would, why it's genius. You would just assume that it's right. Which is, right? Yeah. which is why, which is why what he's doing is genius. He's mixing it up with other books, yes. make giving it that validity. I mean, it's genius in the most villain-esque way ever, but you know, yeah. If Gary buys a collection of, 2,000 books. Well, shit. If you buy a collection of 100 books, you're not going through every page of every book. No. There's right. no if way you, you're If you're that. counterfeiting like $200 books in a big collection and you do like 100 of them, he, he's, he's never going to look at that. Now, if you're counterfeiting no. the one big book that's in there and it's raw, mm -hmm. you're going to look through well, it you're you're gonna gonna right away. Right. Yeah. Right. And yeah. that's why you but would slab it. Yeah, the that's slabs, why you would have though, it at the slab. Yeah. Who's really questioning the slab? But who's I mean, questioning the slab? If you're looking, going, you're going. Oh, nine point six of this. Ooh, this is a big book. It's a six five. But oh, this looks clean. Blah blah blah. You're flipping through them, just looking, going, wow, this is great. Listen, I'm mm. a very, I'm a very skeptical guy. I, I don't trust a lot of people, and I've looked. I've had a lot of slabs in my hands, and there's probably only been two that I've ever really thought maybe there's something wrong with this. And it was only because they were high dollar books or else I would have never, you know what I mean? I would have never gone that close. And it took a conversation with the, with the seller and a little bit of trust for me to believe it, you know? And then I, you had, them you had a nice, I resubmitted them to make sure. You had a nice, but, nice high dollar book in your hand at one point when I was with you. And I'm just, he's so scared holding that thing in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Uh, ja Jared, so, I would say, I would say that uh, uh, right now you just have to be more careful. I, I mean, we yeah, th that's why I put it up there. Yeah. More yeah. Fine collections. I don't, I, Lou, along the lines of answering this, that's why I put it up there. Yeah. It, I, I don't think we're saying don't buy comics. No, I no, think not we're at saying, all. I think we're saying if you're out there buying big books, just yeah. beware. Just yeah. beware. Like you know, what I'm saying, like, like do your research. D do your due diligence and and if you're buying big books do just make sure you're you know 
Listen, we You're we've okay. been do, we've been talking to you guys for what? Me and Guy did our first video about three years ago. I think we're pretty much on our three year anniversary before we were the defects. And we were the defects now for two and a half years. So over the last two and a half years, we've tried to give whatever knowledge we have to you guys. So now it's like when you answer to answer that question, it's like you have to use your experience yeah. to figure out what's good for you and what's not good for you. You well, know, and if you would... feel so uncomfortable that you just don't want to buy any high dollar books right now, then stop. That's that's a personal decision. We're not telling anybody to start buying, stop buying, just telling people to be aware of the situation. And you have and you have to you have to use your own judgment. You have to use your own best judgment because you know. Well, and sharing is caring. That, if you, you have the yes. information, you know, it would be a disservice to right. the people that come to you guys and like to hang out with you guys and everything else. If you had all this knowledge and you were like, nah, we ain't gonna tell nobody, like that's not <laughs> That's that's not how <clears throat> this and that's one of the really cool things about this community is like whenever there's a theft at a store or something happens, you know, everyone is on top of it, letting everyone know, hey, be on the lookout for this or hey, we need to rally behind this person or hey, you know, and that I think is one of the best things about it is hey, that buffer dude became famous because the community put it out there that he was stealing from comic book shops. Yeah, so. in California, <laughs> that actor, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's only right. a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before somebody catches this guy slipping. And it's probably gonna happen this week. It might yeah, yeah if 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 he tr if, if he tries it at the show. If he tries it there and there's just you know, these guys know what they're these guys know what they're doing and people know what they're looking for. Um yeah. well now this is on people's radar. Yeah, well, not guaranteed. Get too far. Cause it's all over. Story. It's all over. And it would it, hopefully Emerald Comic Con also is making sure that the vendors, you know, hey, this is something that's happened in well, our better state. better know to be on the lookout. Absolutely. You know, be on the lookout. I mean, not that, I mean, we tell everyone when we host our cons, we tell everyone, hey, this is your your own risk, your own liability, your own stuff. Like we, you know, da, da, da. We can't but again, right. if this happened in Alaska or anywhere near Alaska and we were getting ready to host a con, you bet your ass, I would print a flyer and on every single person's table, this is what happened. Here's yep. the information because I'm not saying that I want you to a not buy books or sell books. I just think it is important for everyone to have that information so that everyone making those purchases or those, you know, selling and buying are, are feel better about that transaction. You want to walk away from the transaction, not going, did I just get got like you want everyone to feel good. So yeah. I, I mean, think the I, suspicious stuff will be the large collections. No. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. Exactly. It's the mixed of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like Lou and Amy were doing this already, but now I feel like we have to do a little bit. We have to give a little bit of our opinion of how to how to move forward. And it's like, I said, use your own judgment. But also, I think Lou and Amy said it, people say in the chat, if you're going to buy from somebody, try if it's going to be a big dollar book, try to know that person, try to know have some somebody that you know that knows that person. Mm -hmm. Try to do your due diligence. Go look at the graders notes. Look at it yourself. Compare it to another slab. If it doesn't feel right, walk away. You know what I mean? Like you can't get hurt that way. If if something seems off, just walk away. It's it's okay. So, you know, I'm hoping, like Lou said, that it's if this comes up this weekend, it's or, or coming up at this con, it's gonna suck for somebody, but maybe it puts kind of a a not you know a bow on it because. If this guy gets caught and he gets made an example of, the next guy that goes to think about doing this is definitely going to think a little bit harder about is the juice is the juice worth the squeeze, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So, listen, I feel very comfortable looking at books and looking at slabs. And I know there's people out there that do this 10 times better than I do. And some of those people are going to be at this show. And now that it's on people's radar, I think Lou's right. I think this is 100% going to come up at this con. There's no doubt that one of these counterfeits will be spotted at this con. Hell, it's Seattle, so it's going to yeah. be. It's right it, in that's that's this I'm guy's saying. backyard. This, this will happen. Yeah. So, well, if he feel here's here's the question: If he feels confident enough enough to do it, <laughs> right? The, exactly. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Now that it's on the, people's the, radar, it's on people's radar. Mm -hmm. Does now does he stay away? Ball game. That that's what I'm saying. Now you have people's attention. People that have a very good eye for this stuff. They've been looking at this stuff for years. Once now you have this little bit of extra information in your tool bag to say, is mm -hmm. this, 
is this something I want to buy or not? That's going to be even harder to pass on, on now. So, but I also <laughs> wonder with this guy kind of like going to like the, the whole like serial killer thing, like have we now emboldened him because now, oh, he made a mistake and it's like, you know, criminal minds and we're all trying to figure out, you know, the whole thing. And now he's going, oh, well, they caught me on this one. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to show him and I'm going to do this again and I'm going to, you know, get one over on someone. And we've been got before. Remember, we got got on that uh, that Stan Lee. Oh yeah, we got got on Stan Lee on a signature on the signature with the COA. We had COA, and what we did was uh, we sent it to CBCS and to EGS, and both of them said, "Hey man, you got got." Was it on something you bought um, in a collection, or it Uh, was something I bought offline? And I bought on eBay, right? It was Uh, was on Mercari or whatever. Mercari, whatever that thing is. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it could happen told, to anybody. Man. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is a great conversation. I mean, we could probably keep talking about this, but I really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been, we wanted to get a look inside the LCS. We want to know from an LCS perspective um, what people have been coming in to look for. Uh, and this, and you know, like Guy alluded to earlier, we're going to try to do this a little bit more often with Aegis. Um, this week, we're going to talk about back issues. Um, Mm -hmm. wall books, things like that. What have people been coming in specifically asking for? What have you guys seen kind of been brought up to the counter more often or something that you haven't seen been, you know, people digging for that they now are like, what, what do you guys see? What has the, the shift been like in, uh, the Alaska LCS? I, DC books. I texted I was, Kevin. You had a laugh. I, text, I was. Yeah. I was, like, was going to say, can I guess? Can I guess? <laughs> yeah, DC recently, but before, uh, we cannot keep uh, Deadpool back issues. Um, yeah. And it, what was the other one? I, I texted Kevin and I asked him to answer this for me. Uh, he said it's really hard to keep any Deadpool or Spider Man in the back issues. He goes, those sell out right away. Um, those are for yeah, sure. Always. All of a sudden, people came through looking for Booster Gold. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Anything Booster Gold, they've been snatching up. Uh, Do you guys have people popping in? Look when when movie news pops up. Like, is it like oh, yeah. that? Yep. Like instant, instantaneous? Yeah, people that we've never seen in the shop before all of a sudden show up. I feel wow. like the most yeah. impressionable one I can remember of was actually WandaVision. We had so many people coming in wanting more information oh, yeah. on her. And that was innocent. That and wasn't that was, even. And it wasn't yeah. even. It was like people that were just like, we had no idea. Casuals. Uh, mm-hmm. We Do you have a book on this? We'd like to know more about it because we liked the show. And it was just, it was, that was the one that was most impressionable. Bless you. Then Halo. Oh yeah. Halo was one that we got several Thank people you. coming in for. And it was all, it wasn't people. It wasn't flippers. It wasn't, yeah. it was like straight so up, they enjoyed you know, the shows. Okay. Yeah. So they wanted to see Good. the source material yeah. or what they thought was source material. And then you have um, all your speculators and your flippers and you know, everyone that's coming in, that's looking, you know, and the funny thing is, is there, there's a few books we might pull from our back issue bin, but quite honestly, nine times out of 10, we leave our, you know, well, I'm not you can't leaving keep Hulk. track of it. Well, you can't keep track of it, number one, but I'm also not going to leave a Hulk 181 counterfeit or not right. in, in the back <laughs> issue bin, you know. Um, right. But, some, you know, some, we, some we, you we keep gonna... low, lower right. end keys. You know, yeah. sometimes someone comes up to the counter and they're like, is this really only two bucks? We're like, yeah, you, yeah. this is ten dollars on key collector right now. We it's still, like, we right still have that. We still have that spoof sign on our. Oh, uh, yeah. On our back issue bins that say, uh, uh, that we price at the register and yeah, then, we're just uh, gonna be eating our we're pizza. We're just gonna be eating our pizza and stuff, but it's a spoof. People read it and they know yeah. we're joking. Yeah. yeah that's but yeah, so the, the short answer is no, we don't do that. So no. if we're too lazy to uh catch a key in the uh, uh back issue bins or we're just too overworked because mm-hmm. you're open talking game. Uh, potentially ten thousand books or more. Uh yeah, it's open game. So and so the good news is that when big news like that shotgun news from uh from gun when he put that out you know he put out what was it yeah a bunch it was like 10 12 ago. genres oh yeah. the, oh that's another one people came through the shop but we didn't have uh the authority oh. all of a sudden yeah, no, everyone came books. through yeah yeah they're all looking for authority books and when invincible came out I will say this, that we can sell those trades like crazy. Yeah. Trades of all things the prob- when these things hit are, are very popular. The problem is that a lot of these publishers don't catch on. It's like DC did when Gunn made his announcement. A lot of people don't know this. Uh, Kevin uh, brought it to light. When Gunn made the announcement, if you looked on the Lunar catalog, mm-hmm. 
-hmm. all of the uh, graphic novels for those storylines were available uh, for pre-order. Interesting. Yeah. Smart. It oh, is. that's genius. But the other companies don't do that. Like when Invincible became so popular, Image should have put out like 300 versions exactly. of that damn mm -hmm. uh, uh, omnibus and everything, you know. This is is funny, Jared Smith. You kind of uh, stole my thunder here. So <clears throat> okay. I said we were gonna, and we and you guys were talking about shows, and I and we talked about this right around the Super Bowl. I said um, I wanted to keep track of what's happening with The Last of Us, because it seems like with The Last of Us and this DC announcement that speculation, we'll just call it speculation, whether you want to say flipping or not, but speculation, it's it's a broad mm -hmm. word. You're speculating whether something's going to go up or down has, right. has been reinvigorated a little bit. I don't want to I don't want to go too crazy here, but things seem to be a little bit better than they were three or four months ago. So I said, I want to really keep an eye on The Last of Us because what's been happening with a lot of the shows, especially the Marvel shows, is that once the show starts, the books just literally plummet. And I was curious to see what would happen with The Last of Us. Now, granted, there's a lot less copies, but I was still curious. So I wanted to bring it up. Let's see where it is. I got my GPA on the screen, ready to go. This guy's so, always about the numbers. It's always ready. about you the numbers. You know I'm a numbers guy. You know I'm a numbers guy. So with the numbers, you go to Maddie right Forge. You could see that the, the, the curve has kind of just kept going up on this. And the last time we looked at it, was right around i think it was this sale it was one of these two sales right 1275 i think and that was a high at the time so since then you've had a little bit of fluctuation um this 1400 i can't find anywhere so it's not on it wasn't on ebay but this is the last ebay sale right there wow uh, about nine days uh excuse me eight days ago um seventeen hundred dollars that's a big jump from where we, and now mm -hmm. this, I mean, the season, the season is almost over. Uh, you know, and we were looking at 1275 as the high for this book ever. And that was almost a month ago. And we have since then, it, it, we've added $400 to that, 400 plus dollars to that. So the last of us is still going strong, mm -hmm. which again, tells me that yes, the hobby needed, the, and this is clearly one example. Right, it's anecdotal. It is what it is. But mm -hmm. we have to we have to start somewhere. The hobby needed a correction. We know that. But it also it wasn't that speculation was dead. It was just that people were not excited about what there was out there to speculate about. No, but this 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 show got people this show got people going again. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it shows one of those that shows. when there's good material yeah, and correct. people get excited, the FOMO builds up and people are like, I don't care that the book was half price two months ago, I want it now because that's how good this is. I am throwing all common sense out the window and that's what drives these prices up. Yep. Yeah, and I, I would I would argue though that um, that's more for your ultra modern books, like your Boom Studios, your for sure. uh, image book. For sure. Like uh, a good case study to look at, like on the opposite spectrum is Fantastic Four One, right? <clears throat> that book continues to climb in value, sometimes a little slower, but it always climbs up in value, even though it's been back-to-back -back shit movies for right. Fantastic Four. Oh, if you look the at movies the don't affect curve, the value. It's just you look at always it, it keeps continue always to go going up. up. Right. But you'll yeah. see like a book like Scalped that had so much potential was going up, and then the director got me to this oh, the, the the or the the writer creator of Scalped because uh, that that. Unless I'm saying the wrong book, I'm pretty sure I'm right no, on it. That was the book that was, that was the series that was going to replace Sons of Anarchy. Oh, okay. Because it's okay. just a really okay. cool storyline. It's like organized crime on a reservation. It's just this okay. badass, super gritty storyline. And this thing was blowing up. We had the entire. I bought a collection where I bought the entire run for pennies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Nice. And uh, 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 real books, not counterfeit. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Real sure. book. <laughs> and uh, the. The book was just skyrocketing, and all of a sudden, we sold it. And then the 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 writer the writer got he got caught up in some 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 scandal, and they yeah. canceled the series. And that book, I mean, you can't wipe your ass with it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is a shame because it's a badass story, but it lost its value. But you take once again, you take a book like Fantastic Four, not an issue. Now, 
I guess the counter argument to that would be uh, uh, Amazing Fantasy because Amazing Fantasy didn't Amazing Fantasy just finally surpass Action Comics for the first time in in uh, ever. It might, uh, yeah, I, I think, think I it just that. did. It did. Yeah. And it just happened, and it was all because of the success of the uh, uh, the, the last uh, Spider Man movie because mm -hmm. yep. it made it so popular. Other than and we that, know, right? I mean, and we know there's there's been a ton of Spider Man, you know. A new contract for Tom Holland, a live action right, Miles, right. you know, into the Spider Verse is coming out. So Spider Man's always going to be, yep. you know, that's just the, that that uh, never going to go. You know, obviously it's going to have its peaks and valleys, but overall that that line is just going to keep going up. Right? I guess my ba my babbling point was that the like your you know Fantastic Four's first family of Marvel comics, right? Your the big blue chippers, yeah, your blue chippers tend to survive irregardless. Whereas oh, your sure. indies, they, your I indies are more susceptible will. to bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your indies are always susceptible to bad media. Yeah, I somebody say it. I don't. I don't think you'll have effect. You won't have effect on them, honestly. Right. Yeah. No, you may be in the short term. You may, yeah, little, but overall, no. Right. You're always going to see that. But, the, sp that, that but the speculation game is really more about the comics that don't stand the test of time. Like, how long can they stand the test of time? Right. Or, you know, and, and that's, you know, The Last of Us is a super low print run, and there's n and there's less than 109 right. eights. So there is rarity there. And now there's there's demand there. It was a great video game, mm -hmm. and now, Pete, I mean, it's a fantastic show. You know, the majority of people love it. Um, I, Jared Smith I, keeps asking, are we buying it? I mean, me personally, I think that, you know, somebody said, well, does it go to the heights of, of Walking Dead? I, e even if the show is we as successful, yet. I don't think the comic can be as successful because there's there's too many things to focus on right now than there was back then with, fan, uh, with Walking Dead. Right mm -hmm. now, so, something else is going to take the attention of comic investors and The Last of Us is not going to remain. You know, does it hit 2000? Right. I don't know. Maybe. But... If you ask me, would I bet that it's going to go more than two thousand? Absolutely not. Right. It's a shiny could, toy, right? I shiny new toy right now. Right. I could be wrong, but I. But the logic right. says, if you really want it for your collection, like wait a little longer. If you have to have it right now, mm -hmm. buy a raw copy. You know, I, I would definitely not buy a nine eight because I, I. I just don't think there's enough meat on the bone right now. I, I just wanted to put this out there so that people know, like where we stand. I believe that comic book shops. And speculators are kind of symbiotic. It only becomes unethical when the comic book shop becomes a speculator, in my humble uh, opinion. Because then you're you're you're, you're that's you're a, that's a very good as a very good point. <laughs> as long as you keep separation of church and state, they're married yeah. together. You know? and, and we can speculate yeah, on without all the time. without the beard. It's him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was going to say this, earlier. you know, you said something about the back issues and, and repricing and, you know, as as a collector, of course, you want to try to pay the least amount as possible. You know, like you don't right. want to say like, hey, you have this book price wrong. I mean, to a point, I mean, I've done it before, like with people, you know, I, I've, you know, but there's got to be, like you said, maybe you leave some nuggets out there because that's what brings people back into the store. Right. I'll, I'll be honest, if mm -hmm. I go into a store that I can't find anything that's priced either correctly or even maybe like 10% lower than what I can mm -hmm. find it for on eBay. I do not step foot back in that store ever, ever. Mm -hmm. If I go to a store and I even find a couple things that I'm like, hey, this is 10% this is lower than I could buy it on eBay. Great, let me grab it. Now I'm going back there and maybe I am buying something off the wall that is the exact same price on eBay, but I want to give my business to that shop. So there, right. so there is something about that, Lou, and I think you made a great point. It's when the comic shops become speculators, you're no longer a comic shop in my, in my eyes right. because you're not trying, yeah. you're not selling to the collector, the enthusiast. You turn, you turn from speculator to manipulator. Just saying. Yeah. Yep. So you know, it's yeah. like people. I, I just that want to put this. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, no, go ahead, Amy. No, I was going to say, you know, it's like one of the things that we've only ever raised the price of like a, a new release book. I think twice. No, once. It was once. It was once. It was that. And we never did it again. And we never did it bad. again because it just, we felt horrible. It was the, that. <clears> it was the first time. It was, it was a surprise book. We, of Wolverine's We, we had been in business for like three months uh, and it was the Marvel first appearance of. Uh, presents. Yeah. Yeah. It had, I know the cover. Yeah. It, yeah. It's uh, Wolverine, Deadpool, and Ghost Rider 
on on Ghost Rider's motorcycle. Yep. Mm -hmm. I remember. That's the cover. And, and it was the first appearance of Wolverine with her on the cover. Yeah. Right. right. And we yep. just we've just always believed in, you know, keeping our prices in those, you know, that's not But you know, it, it, it I will say it's stressful and I'll tell you why. Um reverse. Let's say we get a book that was a key a couple of months ago and then it falls off, but we we just didn't keep up. We've we have no idea. The other, that's the other side of it. Then you and have then, to constantly reprice. Yeah. Because if you come in and you now see this book on our wall, you're like, bro, that book that book fell off sixty percent in value. Yeah. It makes us look like the asshole. And you know, then you know, we mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, you gotta be on the pricing. Anything on the key wall, you constantly have to re research. Yeah, I was gonna it. say the wall you gotta be up to I would say to yeah. me that you have to be up to date on like in a back bin yeah. if you have a book that maybe doesn't belong in the 20 dollars bin it should be back in the five dollar bin and it's there it's like all right well it's easy to forget that but if it's right. up on the wall that's a different yeah. story. And there's hundreds and hundreds yeah. of books in our back issue bins you know if not over a thousand easily and no, so over ten thousand books in you know and <laughs> like we've got thousands and thousands yeah. of books i don't know, i don't math good so yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know there's, there's 11 o'clock lou give her a break there's a lot <laughs> not for them just for us yeah just for i was us. like yeah, it's no, actually sorry. only like what seven here um well, so yeah it's we'll uh <laughs> But we, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things that we just we've always wanted to make sure that we wanted it, the the adventure to be fun for people. We, we want who taught who taught us that? Oh, it, it, was it Jamie? It, they, like if you don't have anything worth the hunt, they're not coming. Yeah, exactly. why not have meat on the bone for somebody? Like if if I can make a profit off of it, and then you guys can turn around and make a profit off it, that's awesome. Now. The, the other half of that is, you know, when you get the speculators and the flippers come in and, you know, there's nothing that I can do for the fact that the books arrived in the condition that they arrived in from the distributor. And, you know, they want eight copies of this one book they're specking on. And, you know, there's, oh, OK, well, I ordered eight for you. And they're like, well, this one has a ding in it. And so does this one. And it's like, that's how they showed up, bro. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. Like. I just we're, we're maybe the larger shops can get away with having really large orders where they can put those out on the floor and other people who don't care about it, you know, but for like small shops and just for people's knowledge, you know, if you're getting upset because you have a book that's got a ding in it or something, I probably only had like one or two extra books of that. And I gave you the best of the three. You know, we know well, who our customers we, that's are. That's why we left Diamond, too. Oh, God. Yeah, that was stressful as hell. <laughs> But, well, uh, when it comes yeah. to customers in the store, like you said, and leaving meat on the bone and, and, and trying to bring them back, I'm going to test Guy's knowledge of, of a movie quote right now, but I think it's a quote that really applies here, and I use it all the time. And it's, you could shear a sheep many times, but can you can only skin him once, okay? Ooh. Wow. So, it's like you said, that's if you want the customer analogy. to keep coming back, if you fuck him over once, that's it. Mm -hmm. He ain't never that's coming it. back. But if you give him a little back. nibble here and there, you're going to keep getting that return business. Guy Forge, do you know it? Somebody is in the it, chat is going to gonna know this. And I know you've seen this movie at least five times. Is so it Christopher Walken saying it? It is not Christopher Walken. Yeah. It is not Christopher Walken. And if I tell you who says it, it's going to give it away. So anyway, let's talk a little nice. bit about, you've been talking about the shop. Um, mm -hmm. And while Guy tries to figure this out, not Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Um, wow. We're going to talk about saving Aegis Comics, okay? Um, you guys have now met the, the, the owners, okay, and founders of Aegis Comics. And we have a little, we have some, some items that we're selling to kind of help them out, give them a little boost. A uh, boost, right, guy? Why not? And uh, we'll start off with the shirts. I guy, love these shirts so much. Yeah, obviously... Um... This is the the little slogan we came up with: "Comics for all ages." A little play on words there. See, ages. Look, you see, see, see what he did there. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, a little play on words, and then obviously all the all the supporters. You know, some of the the members of the community jumped in to help out with this. They're all on the back of the T-shirt too. Yes, so sir, this is I really cool. Shirt. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, Jay came up with the idea to do the shirts, um, and then I just ran with it and got. Um, Roger's brother Dave, Dave the brother, involved in it, the Greeno, um, and he printed some shirts up. And obviously, we're gonna we're gonna get orders together, and we're gonna make a whole big printing thing, and then send them out once we have the orders together. But all of the proceeds from buying the shirts are going to ages. 
so keep that comic shop like open it. a massive part of this community couldn't we couldn't can't have this community without ages so we this is why we're doing this thank you and guys. then, really and then also you. i mean who wouldn't want this on their wall oh, right that's so dope <laughs> i love this so much our buddy a nobody that draws okay he spent his time and he hooked us up with this crazy last supper replica with stan lee in the middle and all of us kind of hanging out uh, a lot of the youtube channels here that that are uh, so friends good. of friends of uh, lou and amy here uh, in the comic book community so we have this print 11 by 17 glossy that we're going to be selling as well um i think me and guy talked earlier we're going to do a package deal if you guys want both 50 dollars shipped for the print 11 by 17 and the t-shirt shipped in the united states can't beat that all right so if That's you want that deal. message us on instagram message one of the other guys three men uh message jay guy myself Send us an email, uh, pressabledefects at gmail.com. We will uh, definitely work with you and figuring out what you guys want. Thank you, Sean Miller. Took you long enough for somebody to get it. William Medina said it too. Willie, nice. Willie got it I mean, as well. Nice. Good job, guys. I mean, I would have went. Up, Sean? I haven't seen that movie in a minute. Round I actually watched right. that the other night too, which is funny. See? There you go. But you know what? And you, then you, you can get a good look at a T-bone steak by sticking your head up a bull's ass. But wouldn't you rather take the butcher's <laughs> word for it? The butcher. <laughs> uh, I and love it. We, we are also. I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag a little bit right here. Ooh, ooh. We have somebody that I just showed the name of that is actually drawing some original art. Ooh. And we're gonna be auctioning that off. So oh, this thing, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It's supposed to be a surprise, but oh. the hints that I'm getting, I, this thing is gonna be pretty fucking cool. So we're gonna we're gonna show that off. We're gonna announce it. It's a dope piece of original art. I seen the artist. He does fantastic work. Oh um, he should be doing it more often. So that's gonna get auctioned off. So we will definitely let everyone know when that's gonna be because I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna, gonna want to get involved in that. Um, but like I said, let us know about the t-shirts, about the prints. This is like I said, this is to help save a big part of this community. Um, and I'm glad they came on tonight to hang with us. They're going to be showing up hopefully once a month. If you guys are still good with yeah. that, yeah, oh, yeah. we're going to be talking sure. about mm -hmm. what people are looking for, what people, what new books people, you know, what the new comic book they seen has looked like for the for that month, the prior month. We'll talk about that a little bit, and uh, just have some fun. I think tonight was Hell fun. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. yeah. You know, and if nothing else, we know I'm going to spout off some random shit that doesn't make sense, but it'll be fine. <laughs> this was good that we had you on without Jay, because once you, oh, you and Jay yeah. are together, it's going to yeah. be all over. It's going to be trouble. There's, you know? there's a it's little bit trouble. of trouble that happens. Honestly, I felt like I did pretty good during that You're live. Good. You're really good. <laughs> I, you know, he feeds you though. He does. Yes. We both. We it's both the energy. And then there was it booze just, and, and then yeah, it's it was. Yeah, it's all downhill. Yeah. 100%. Um, speaking of local comic shows, King Con coming up, guys. You know we're talking about it every week from now until March 25th. Nice. When it returns to New Jersey at the APA Hotel in Isla, New Jersey. Two-day show this year. Go get the tickets. Link is in our description. You know we're going to be there covering the show, going live, running contests, doing giveaways. we got a ton of cool stuff to give away. Two-day tickets are available for a discount on the website right now. So you can buy the, the tickets beforehand. You don't have to wait till you get to the door. So now it's all automated. They're very fancy now. They got some cool stuff if you do buy it online. So go check it out. Awesome vendors there. All the big boys are going to be there. This show just keeps getting bigger and bigger. You got to come. I know people are flying in from different parts of the country this time. Mm -hmm. So and, and not even I love in this that country. it's two-day now. It's a two-day. I heard yeah. people are coming in from Canada. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, Canada. That's all I'm gonna say. Canadians are gonna be there. Oh, you know, so we'll see. So we'll they see. Fi they figured dope. out that Terrificon wasn't the only only show, mm -hmm. and yep. that and that and that Greg Greg's the real deal. See. So nice. we're gonna be talking about this a little bit more as we're getting closer, but we're less than a month away. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Barry Gary. He, he's obviously you know he's been filling up for the butcher, so we're giving him a little shout out. Tomorrow night, he's doing a, a really big giveaway on whatnot. So go make sure you check him out. You guys know how to get a hold of him. 
He's going to be that's doing your, his whatnot that's your thing on Tuesday nights. Take your pants off Tuesdays. Take your pants off Tuesdays. That's it's it's a real thing. Okay, it's a real and, thing. And and no, we're we're scheduling yet, that right now. Not yet, Amy. Oh, 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 oh my God. Jeez. Sorry. It's tomorrow. Nice. Different show. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Different, Different show. show Amy. It's almost yeah. tomorrow for you guys, so it counts. This is true. We're very close. But uh, guys, we'll yeah, anything else? Yeah. There it is. Look at that. There was a that's what she said there with that. So he beat I me to it. I need a fucking soundboard. <laughs> well, we need that. Guy needs a soundboard. Lou, can I get, can you send me one of those? I was, oh, the Lord. Yes. I, need, I yeah. need that in my life. Yeah. The podcaster. A super chats rock. The, po- get a the podcaster. Yeah. Trust me. Whoever gave this man a noisemaker. Message, message me and tell me what to get. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I need that in my life. Jay, I got you. Jay, Jay will hate me even oh, more. Oh, 100%. Trust He'll quit me. the show oh. for sure. Like and he, and he'll do the one. He has the little clips. He's got the one of the little Asian dude that throws his shoe down, going emotional damage. Yes, that's the best and, one. Yeah. Oh no, is he gonna do? Maybe it? we gotta give Jay the soundboard. Oh, well, maybe oh, oh, that could be interesting. That yeah, could be we're... interesting. Oh, now you well, did it. What there you go. See, he's got, look at this guy. He's got all types of cool stuff on his stream. He actually took that picture at the shop. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. He was trying to play the little clip, but we're guests on your guys' show. It's not on ours, so it's all good. But yeah, no, he he comes up with all of that stuff, and I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Show me what button to press. Yep. There it is. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Dropping money. (laughs) (laughs) So usually usually we do stuff like drop, like, Eva. Yeah. yeah, I was like, no, Eva Eva bills. It. yeah, Eva yeah. Bills, hundred yeah. percent. The first time I saw that, I was like, Jesus, these are our people. Yeah, yes. we found our people. Spirit animals. <laughs> we have found our people. Oh my God! At um, least I know I won't scare them. Well, probably no, will. Impossible, them. impossible. Listen, we found what? her and she found us too. So that was it. Was a match a made in heaven. Match made it in heaven. Match made in heaven. I love it. What do you guys have coming up, Lou and Amy? You got uh, your thirty-second elevator pitch for anything you got going on. Well, if you're in Alaska and you want coffee, when we open up our coffee shop, come get some coffee. There uh, should be a, a, around the 18th or 19th, it's looking like now, mm-hmm. uh, because we uh, we got to wait for an electrician to be available. But uh, yeah. And then uh, other than that, um, we've got our Comic-Con in October uh, at the Menard, and that'll be our third Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. We're real excited about that. And uh we're still doing paint nights yep. at the shop. Also, and, we're yeah. we were thinking about doing a cake decorating class for like ladies' night. You know, come to do like a superhero theme cake or something like that. Like Friend it. of mine's a, a baker, so she's like, "Let's do superhero cakes." I was like, "You had me sure. at cake, so <laughs> my <laughs> love language is That's food. <laughs> so uh, I can go hang out with my girls, have a drink, and make a pretty I mean, cake." Can okay, I, can I can I zoom in to that? Yeah, hundred percent. Guy wants to be part of that. We'll do a live. We'll do a live from it. We'll just zoom in. It'll be good. Um, No, but but yeah, we want to do more events, especially in the winter time. There's not a lot going on in Alaska in the winter, so we we really want to focus on shifting our our model in the winter time, being more events, more things that we can do. We've done a comic swap recently. Uh, We've done the paint nights. We want to just keep doing more events. The comic swaps work out really good at the shop because, uh, 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 you know we can't buy everyone's collection and we can't give the best price for everyone's collection. So we provide them a, 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 a place where they, you know, they buy a table and they can just sell right there in the shop. Yeah. So you know? and it works. I, think, out I well. think it's nice. I think it's nice. And I think it's smart. You guys expanding the shop to other things to bring people in. I think that's yeah. a very smart thing. I think that's great yeah. marketing. I think it's, it brings people in that maybe didn't know about the shop and what it was about. Yeah. And then once, honestly, once they get in there and meet you guys, I think that opens up the door to other things. And I think that's a very great thing. And I think it's a smart thing and I wish you the best of luck with it. Honestly. Absolutely. Well, truly Thank from you. the bottom of our hearts, we are just like insanely humbled just how this whole community rallied around us and got us to our first goal within a week. And then, you know, here we are teetering at the, the, the second and final goal. And I believe we're over that once uh, from the three men in a basement uh, auction that you guys all put together. Once all that, you know, settles down, uh, settles out, I think we're, that'll put us over our goal. Um, our initial goal, which that was just the keeping us from closing our doors immediately goal. Like right. anything yeah. beyond here is going to be okay. Let's actually start to get like maybe a little bit of breathing room here here, there you know, get some things taken care of. Um, but truly just humbled and so, 
so very thankful for you guys. Um, it's not an easy thing to ask for help, especially, I you know, that. Lou and no. I, you know, we come from emergency services lifestyles. We, we are the ones that go to help people. We don't ask for help ourselves. It's like a freaking nurse or a doctor telling them to go, go in and get seen from a doctor. They're never going to do it. You know, we don't like asking for help, but the fact that everyone sent us so many wonderful messages and just sent us so much love. The shop, the shop, Man, I know someone's going to yell at me for saying this, but comic book shops, I do not believe, were ever really designed to make money. No. They were designed, to be, they were designed to be community. They really are. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's yeah, it's like hangout. Yeah. Cheers. No? It's the cheers. It, it, our goal has never been to make money from the shop. We wanted the shop to be self sustaining, though. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? So yep. uh, if we can get to that point, I think we'll be very happy. Yeah. Just where it's just, and we think that it was responsible to add something, like you said. Before, before I go fully gray. Yeah, because yeah, the coffee <laughs> the coffee shop, what we were seeing was happening. And, you know, uh, you ask us about what goes on in the shop. We see guy comes in, a girl comes in that is part of the hobby. But their ride or their significant other is not part of the hobby. And they're literally tapping their watch or tapping yeah, their foot, yeah. saying, "Hey, I, I need to, we need to go get some coffee." <laughs> or something. But if we have, and uh, uh, we'll be she, updating photos. She usually yeah. stays in the. She usually exactly. stays in the car. So. Yeah. But now we have these nice. We have this beautiful uh, seating area. With One the, by a window. We've got yeah. a couple other that are in between. You know, different racks of books. I mean, and smart idea. With Smart free Wi Fi, so that you know, yeah. now you got the people that normally would just. Ha and we looked at local co coffee shops up here, they don't have TVs, they don't have books, it's just the coffee and the table and some Wi Fi. Our comedic we're, relief, yeah. I mean, we're offering, we're offering that's priceless, you know, uh, that's right? Priceless yeah, we're, right we're offering a lot more. Keep, uh, yeah. keep them there, experience. keep them there, yeah. yeah, exactly. Listen, b before, before we get out of here, can I just get Luke, can I get you to put the hat on? Which hat? It's right behind you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, course, this was one of the first gifts given to us. Uh, this was from a customer. From a customer because he saw it and is like, oh, that's like your it's logo. Awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. It'll right. really I love it. With this thing. Uh, so, guys, if you want to check out Aegis, uh, they do YouTube. They do stuff on uh -oh. Instagram. All their yeah, links are going to be in the description yeah, of this yeah. video. So, check them out. And if you want to <laughs> help them out. Hit us up and we'll see if we can get you guys some prints and t-shirts. Yes. Aegis, baby. I love, I that. love it. See, if you wore that in the shop all the time, Lou, I feel like that could be Don't a give big money maker. You know? Don't. I feel I like you just need to like, kick somebody and say, this like is cool Sparta. Yeah. Hat, though. Do Matt, you should do like every, every top of the hour. Kick can you pick in the chest. someone? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pick someone and I just kick in the chest and yell, this is Sparta. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Right through that front window. Or come here, I'll bite yes. your leg off, yeah, you I know. Mean, that, be, that could be costly, though. But the, if you have to replace the window. You have to replace the window. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, that, that, you might have to rethink that one, but. Forget that idea, actually. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's work on it. Or they just run around let's going, me. Yeah. We'll work on it. I can't we'll work on it. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for being he here. He can't hear he's, anything. He's just going with it. He's like, know, oh, okay. I know, I love it yeah thank you guys for being here uh, thank you so much for having us you guys this was so much um, fun yeah definitely we'll do it again like i said the, her, all their links are in the description of this video so check them out they do a lot of funny stuff on youtube and instagram um give them a follow on all their socials check out their website and uh, you'll probably see them back here in a month or so we'll guys, be here. anything else that's it man um hopefully the rangers start winning again that's all i gotta say there you so, go we won last night and if you don't want to watch this back, you could always listen to us back on like Spotify and Google Cast and I don't know all the names, but all the podcasts, you can check us out. Just search, search Pressable Defects. You'll find us and uh, you get long format. So if you want to listen to it on your way to work so you I, don't crash watching us. I know, literally was in my office. We're not the prettiest here. No, usually. I literally you know, was got, in my Amy office. And Lou on tonight, so it's all right. <laughs> I, said, I said, hey, Google, play hey, Pressable Google. Defects. Yeah. And, and, it, and it did. It came up. That's Look when that. you came know. Up. Oh, we're on the wait, hold on. Yeah. It's happening That's right now. That's how you know you won. Yep. So. Yep. So we do. I love it. All right. All right. This is a long one, but this was fun. So. It was. Thank you guys so much. Thank 11 o'clock our time. We will talk again. 
Defects, we appreciate you being here. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. I see a couple new people in here. Appreciate you being here. Hit the subscribe button if you can. Hit that notification bell. We will catch you next Monday night, 9 p.m.